Thanks for checking out the official Subway D800 demo video. We'll be going over the front and rear panel features, talk about some tech and specs, and do some playing throughout the video to showcase its tone and versatility. First, let's talk about some of the basics. The Subway D800 is Mesa's entry into Class D power, providing big gig headroom in an ultra portable compact size and weighing in at less than six pounds. Preamp wise, the Subway is a greatest hits compilation of Mesa's 45 plus years manufacturing bass amplification. We've sonically analyzed the EQ curves from our all tube heritage like the D180, the 400 plus, the Strategy and Prodigy lines, and our acclaimed MOSFET lineup with amps like the Walkabout, the Impulse, the Big Block, and the Carbine. We blended those EQ curves and circuits into the reference for the Subway D800 design. The best tone from over four decades of successful bass amp building meets a simple and easy to use preamp interface backed up by huge musical headroom from a new Class D power section. Industry leading experience and design paves the way for an exceptionally toneful, compact and powerful Class D amp. It's 100% hand built in Petaluma, California and backed by one of the best warranties in the business by a company that cares about its customers like family. Let's get into some of the details. The Subway D800 front panel input section is made up of an input jack, a mute switch, and an active passive select switch, as well as indicator LEDs for mute, input sensitivity, and input clip, or OD. The overdrive LED indicates when the subway's input is being clipped, and it's a great gauge for dialing in optimal input gain settings. At the end of this input section lies the deep on-off select switch, which adds a boost in low frequency response, offering a fatter, lower, and more round response in the low end. The input jack feeds a high impedance input amplifier and the overall input level is controlled by the all important input gain control. The next control in the preamp string is a new twist on a classic Mesa feature. The voice control on the Subway D800 is now a full rotary pot in comparison to the five position selector found on carbines and the all tube strategy and prodigy. Set all the way left effectively bypasses this control and it's labeled flat. Panning right provides a smooth increase of bass and treble boost in tandem with a scooped mid-range that sweeps upward the higher you increase the control. Here's a quick demo of the range of EQ from the voice control. Next up is a four band EQ with a low frequency shelving band, two mid range frequency peak and dip bands for low and high mids, and a high frequency shelving band. Using the voice control to roughen your sound while using the four band EQ to polish the tone is a great way to dial in tones and then fine tune the detail with the tone controls. Last in the chain is the master volume control, which sets the overall level after the EQ. The limit LED indicates that the power amp is nearing maximum power and is entering a soft clip limit output tube emulation. This mode mimics many of the desirable characteristics of tube amp output stage overdrive while eliminating the common solid state clipping artifacts. 
The combination of positions between the input gain and the master volume, along with the signal strength from your bass and your playing style, allows for a huge range of tones from shimmering cleans to fat and punchy, all the way up to a mild overdrive with grit and growl. Let's check out the rear panel. On the rear panel, you'll first find the power switch and the AC mains input for a standard IEC style power cable. Next up are two NL4 speak on connectors wired in parallel to support a minimum 2 ohm load. The subway offers a solid 800 watts RMS with a 2 or a 4 ohm load. At 8 ohms, the subway offers 400 watts RMS. The Subway D800 is also equipped with a headphone output and a tip ring sleeve aux input that properly sums stereo left and right channels. This allows for silent rehearsing and jamming with Mesa tone along with your music from an MP3 player, iDevice, or a digital music player with no additional cabinets needed. The headphone output will drive all common headphones and earbuds between 8 and 32 ohms and your overall bass level and aux input signal levels are controlled by the front panel master. And finally, a feature that sets your new Subway D800 apart from other bass amps is the inclusion of a studio grade XLR balanced direct output, complete with pre and post EQ signal routing, mic or line level switching options, and a pin one ground lift switch. Similar to the headphone output and aux in, no cabinets are required to use the Subway Studio Quality DI silently in pre or post EQ for outstanding direct tone. So that wraps up this overview and feature review of the Mesa Subway D800 bass amp. Check out the sample videos for more in-depth tones and stylistic examples. And don't let the D800's small footprint fool you. This amp is capable of real gig potential from clubs to coliseums with Mesa tone you can count on. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us by calling, emailing, or messaging us via social media. And we look forward to helping you find your best bass tone yet. Thanks for watching.